And with all the buzz surrounding Bitcoin and its peaks and valleys over the past several months, another cryptocurrency has quietly reached its all-time high. Ethereum, known as Ether, hit a record of nearly $3,200 today, and prices of the currency have more than quadrupled since the start of the year. Well, I'm joined now by Roger Chang, the head of news at CNET. So, Roger, thanks so much for being with us tonight. We know a lot of people have heard of Bitcoin. Not sure that Ethereum is as well known. So can you maybe explain how the two cryptocurrencies compare? Yeah, so Ethereum, or the really the Ether is the name of the proper, the proper name of the currency, was really developed as a alternative to the surging population of Bitcoin. Uh, and it is, uh, and it has surged because Ethereum, unlike Bitcoin, it isn't just a cryptocurrency that you trade. Ethereum is really a platform that a lot of folks have built different apps on. And obviously you've, you've heard of the phenomenon of NFTs, these random tweets and GIFs that have gone for millions of dollars. Well, a lot of the NFTs are exchanged using Ether as the primary currency. So really as the general interest in cryptocurrency and in things like NFT have risen, Ethereum has benefited and Ether has benefited as a cryptocurrency. All right. So, you know, Roger, you just said there, I mean, interest has certainly increased. So really, what's the easiest way for an everyday investor to get in on Ether or just the cryptocurrency wave? I, you know, I would say before they get into this, I, I would say do your homework. Um, this is there is a there is a bit of a. It's not quite just buying stock or, or buying commodities. There is an extra hurdle. Uh, you have to set up. A, you have to set up a cryptocurrency wallet. You know you have to sort of understand the risk that comes with this. And so, uh, there's no real easy answer except I would just recommend folks do your homework, find out, do do enough of your research about these cryptocurrencies because they are. Uh, complicated to get your head wrapped around and, and so it, it's worth doing that extra homework all right so it's definitely complicated you're you know recommending that people do the research i know you just mentioned there that you know you have to set up a wallet first so you know what's your response to people who are just they hear all this they get overwhelmed and they're hesitant to even think about transitioning to cryptocurrency Oh, and keep in mind, cryptocurrency has been a, it's sort of been a mainstay really for the last several years. It, it's surged in popularity. I, I wouldn't want to give any kind of investment advice on whether or not you should actually get into this. Um, but this is clearly an area that has a lot of forces behind it, a lot of tailwind here. And so it's, it's definitely an area of interest. But again, you really should do your research before jumping in to cryptocurrency. All right. We, we appreciate that. Definitely do our research. Roger Chang from CNET. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.